Hey folks, hey, we catching a few, probably got about 25 nice ones. We're going to oh, turn on the camera and see if we can catch a couple on film. Uh, about 9 or 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Getting about a 30 foot of water right here, a little bit deeper than I want to be. I'm going to pull back up on the ridge. Got a boat about 100 yards from me, and I, he's catfishing, I think. But uh, we're going to try to catch some more of these white perch on Lake Monticello. Loving life. Uh, 3rd of July. Oh my. How about that? Time's flying. There he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Hey, there he is. Oh my. There he is. My goodness. Super Dog Magnum, I hope. Two of them. Two of them. Uh-oh. Two of them. Look at that. Two at a time. Monticello white perch. You've got the look. Using a uh, different little jig today on the end. I, some I found in my tackle box I've had for years. Got a little paddle tail. And uh, I'll show it to you. And they seem to be hitting it. A little bit bigger than the slider jig. A little bit bigger. It's got a little paddle tail and some wrinkles in it. Some cuts in it where to wiggle. Hey, they seem to like it. I had to go back figure out what name is because I got no clue. I got no clue what name is that joke. Hey, we caught a bunch of them yesterday. My goodness, them jokers was thick as hell on the dogs back yesterday. I don't mind telling you, they bit. And they probably gonna bite again today. The hotter it gets, the more they start pulling that water and the more they bite. It's the way it works. The more they bite, they is. Hey, there he is. There he is. I don't think I got but one, but there he is. I don't know. They're pulling. We got three jigs on today. Yesterday we had two jigs on. I tied an extra one on to what I've done. We tied an extra one on it, so we got a chance to catch three at a time today. Probably a little bit much for this rod, but I'm trying it. Stir him up. Stir him up. the boat and pull them in. That's what we're going to try to do this morning. Man, I cleaned fish for a while yesterday. Fourth of July coming up, all my family will be wanting perch fillets. Oh my, good gracious. Oh my. Look at how going. Look at how going. Huh? Look at how going. What? The old fisherman. I know that sunlight's going to be bad. Uh, sun's going to be bad in the camera. I got it on iPilot and it's holding me. Look at him. Huh? Look at him. Three at a time. But they ain't no whoppers. They all throwbackers. Hey, for three at a time, people. You got to love that. Throwbackers. We're going to keep just the biggest of the biggest. Let these babies here grow up for the next winter. They'll be magnums. Next winter, they'll be magnums. And you got to love a jumbo magnum. What? I do. Glad y'all could be with the old fisherman on another episode today. Loving Life series. That's what I'm gonna name this thing. Cause we are definitely loving life. I don't know anybody else can love life any better for with the means that they got no better than the old fishermen. Hey, it ain't about how rich you are. It's about how you can be satisfied and enjoy life with little. Hey, and that's what we do. We don't spend a fortune to go fishing. We just buy crappy jigs. We don't buy all these high dollar bass floods. Now I did buy the flutter spoon, but my goodness, Hey, they well worth it. I've been using the same flood spoon for about two years. I ain't broke one off. I'll probably break them all off now. Or at least one year, not two years. One year. Let's beat the boat. We're a little bit deep. We're off the edge of this thing, 32 foot of water. A little bit deep. Try to stir them up. Get them over here where we at. Let's get them over here where we at. I really don't like to put the eye pilot out on a calm day, especially with a current, because it wants to twist up pretty bad up there. But, uh, hey, really don't need it, but the current will pull you off and you won't even realize it. Next thing you know, you'll be way off where you're fishing and the wind ain't even blowing. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, trying to get several. There he is. They go to nothing. 
Huh? That goes a nothing. Oh my. What? Oh my. The old fish was loving life. I don't think none of these are big unless one just grabs it got was bigger. Oh yeah, we got one jumbo. We got one keeper out the bunch. You catch three, throw two back and keep one. That's what we're gonna do. Catch three, to, throw two back, keep one. Well, oh no, that's that's a keeper too. You throw one back. Yeah, that was bigger than I thought he was until I put my hands on him. We got two swivels and two lines coming off of it. Uh, three lines coming off two swivels. We'll make three at a time. What we doing? What we doing? Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. We deeper than we were yesterday. But I think if we can get these fish pulled out here in this little deeper water, we might catch them even better. It might be bigger. A little bit deeper off the edge, but they'll, they'll suspend out here off that drop. That's what they'll do. So, although it's deep, we get it up, they'll be falling on up. See that? There he goes. Huh? There he goes. What? There he goes. There goes a nut. There goes a nut. Look down, they're going. Huh? What? Oh, my. Huh? Oh, my. You got to love this. Loving life. Old fisherman. That sun's going to be bright, probably. Hey, look at him. Look at him. Three at a time, and all three of them, I believe, is keepers. Ow. Boy, that can cut me. Hey, all three of them suckers are keepers. They're not. Nice. Look at that. Huh? Three at a time. We just added another jig this morning. That's all we done. Added another jig. That's about all this, this rod can stand. Three big ones I got to hold and grab the line. And I ain't got but eight pound test between them, so they'll probably end up breaking the jig off. That's what happens. I was looking for some tin. I was going to put tin in between, but I can't even find any. I, I think all my tin's at the high. Loving life. Old fish. Beat the boat, call them in. What we're going to do? Call them in. All right, there's the bottom. Let's reel it up, see what happens. There he is. He hit it. He hit it already. There he is. They hit it all the way up. They're coming way up today. They could take it this morning. Missed it. Yeah, hey, they down there. They down there. Plenty of them. Plenty of them down there. We're going to have to clean a lot of fish today, too. We're going to have to clean a lot of fish today, too. Oh, there you go. Oh, I missed it. Doggone it. They hitting it. Still hitting it. Still running up to hitting at it. Get it back down. Oh, still hitting it up high. Oh, that's, that's fish under us everywhere. My goodness. They everywhere. We got part two from yesterday coming up tonight. Uh, uh, Miss Deborah got where she don't want to put up with one video a day, so. We're going to kind of get behind on our videos. It could be a day late, I guess, or two. What happens when you make too many videos? Miss Deborah, what would they go? Miss Deborah got a problem putting all them videos up. We had a lot of orders yesterday, and she had to go do a, a apron. She sold an apron yesterday, so she had to come home and, and make it. Well, she had the apron made. She had to embroider it. And so that took a lot of her time last night, so she didn't have enough time to put them on. Hey, that's all right. Thanks for the order yesterday. I think it was from Ohio or somewhere. I think. I ain't sure. But thanks for the order. I got to love a good order. Man bought a hat, a shirt, and an apron. Appreciate it a lot. All right. Got it back down where the big boys lie, the old fisherman. I'm liking my new hat now. I'm liking my new hat. My old straw hat, I've been cutting grass and all that stuff, and that thing, it's got all messed up, so. I was kind of ashamed of that the other day, wearing that old straw hat. So I had to go break loose and buy me another hat. Let's beat the boat. We got fish on us. This thing's tearing up by the hour, too. Put it down there where the big boys lie. Uh oh, slacking up. What? They slacking up? We're gonna have to get a little shallower. I'm too deep. I'm, I'm coming up, so I'm too deep. We're gonna take it off the spot lock and get up, up on the hill a little bit. 
I don't like being out here in the 30 foot water. I want to be up a little shallow. I want to be on the 25 mark, at least up that side of that bank, side of the point. That's where we're going. They, ooh, that was a bite. I missed it. Woo! I missed it. And they like it pulling some too. That spot lock just holds you pretty well straight up and down. And I'm not, when it ain't windy, that ain't the best way to go. I think you got to pull the boat a little bit. You got to do that coming around a circle swing is what you got to do. You got one little one. I don't know why I didn't pick up another. I don't think I got one little one. That's all. One baby. Believe that or not. One baby. Oh, can't believe it. I can't believe it, people. Up it to the bottom where the big boys lie. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, my. There they are. We ought to get one until it gets down. You need to put this thing on about a half a mile an hour and do the come around a circle swing. That's what we need to do. All right. Get it to the bottom and reel it up, and we'll catch one, hopefully. Get it to the bottom. There he goes. He hit it. They hit it again. They hit it. They hit the little ones. They're doing the big ones. They, they, they bumping it. They bumping it. They all over the place down there. Beats anything I've ever seen. Perch. They everywhere. Still bumping it. They, they running up there tapping it like they don't want it. That ain't good. See if I can make a circle swing. We got plenty of fish down there. We're 28 foot coming up beside the ridge now. Got to get it to the bottom. That's the problem. I ain't getting it down. The fish are hitting it going down. All right, there's the bottom. And there's, there's a bite. There's a, they're hitting it, but they ain't taking it. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. Oh, my. There you are. Huh? There you are. That's two right there. Oh, Lord, that might be three. What? That's three. I believe that's three. Oh, my. Yep, look at that. Three at a time. Huh? Three at a time, they all twisted up, too. That ain't good. We got one of them off. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to hurt the old fisherman. I'm trying to hurt the old fisherman. I done tore his lips up. I had to keep him. Oh, ow, man. I tell you what, I need me some gloves. Them jokers, they go to slapping, they, they offend you. I wasn't going to keep him. He fend me. I had to keep him now. I'm going to have to penalize him. Huh? I'm going to have to penalize him. Come around circle swing. Come around circle swing. Get my little rag. Oh, they get they everywhere. Huh? They everywhere. My goodness. Old fisherman. Love it life. Drop it to the bottom and reel it up, and there he goes. That simple. Huh? That simple. Look at that. Ain't got but one though. What's wrong with that? Uh-oh, there goes another. Huh? What? Oh my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Good gracious. Huh? What? I had a fella email me yesterday wanting to take a flight down here to South Carolina, me take him out on a charter. Well, I can't do the charters. I ain't got the proper insurance or the proper license. So I'd like to, but I can't. Probably make a hell of a lot more money with charters than I would with YouTube. You make it nothing with YouTube. That's a joke. But anyhow, hey, uh-oh, I didn't mean to throw that fish in there. I'll never find him now. He's in the muck. Maybe I can't. I'll see him. I'm going to throw him back. I'm going to throw him back. He's too little. Oh, well, that ain't him. Oh, Lord. Probably can't find him. He's swimming around down there. If I can get my hands on him, I'll throw him back. All right, there he is. Throw him back. All right. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. That's what the old fisherman loves to say now. Got to come up with a little jingle, uh, a little song for my show. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Any of y'all out there know anything about jingles? To sing or have a good fishing jingle, I'd like to hear it. And uh, give you credit if you can come up with one. Some kind of little jingle fishing song for the old fisherman. Anybody that writes music, be nice to have. Uh-oh. What? That, 
Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I think got deep again. How'd I do that? Fish is laying all down the side of this little ridge out here. They, they just caked on this little ridge that drops out here. And it's shallow back in there and real deep right out there. There's a hundred foot of water right out there. Trees. They hanging in here feeding what they doing off this next to them trees on the ridge. That's where they feed. Oh Lord, look down they going. Huh? Look down they going. My goodness. What? Jumbo Magnum, what I mean. A Jumbo Super Supreme. What? You've got to love it. Oh, fish. Love and life. Can't wait till tomorrow I eat up some barbecue. But you gotta have barbecue on the 4th of July. I got a boat right out there. He's probably, I'm sure somebody that probably knows me. He's sitting out there catfishing. Uh-oh, got another boat coming this way too, so that ain't good. Might cut my video short. My problem is keeping people away from where I can do a video now. It's getting, I'm getting so popular around here. Everybody looks for the old fisherman. Everybody looks for the old fisherman. Let's bring him on in here for that boat just now. Both of them throwbacks. Huh? Ow. Both of them throwbacks. This lake is so infested with these perch. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. That little boat, that looks familiar. I believe they perch fishing. I believe they perch fishing. All right. Tell you what, it's gonna be another hot day. How about that? be another hot day. I don't know if I come to all oh, tomorrow. I might just take more. Too many people. Fourth of July. These islands will probably be full of people camping. Little ones. They're bumping it, but they're little ones. All right, let's get one. Let's get serious. There goes one. Huh. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Little ones. I got into little ones now. What happened to my Jumbo Supremes? That might be a little bit better. Nothing done hit it. That goes number three, I believe. I ain't sure. Yeah, we got number three this time. Huh. Three at a time. Look at that. Huh. Oh, my. Ow. Sucker just cutting my hands up today. Three at a time. Two keepers. One throwbacker. They hitting that little big jig there. They're liking that joker. Let's see if I can find some more of them. I ain't, that ain't no throwbacker. That joker, that's a keeper, too. Huh, big enough to eat. All three of them. Drop it back down to the bottom. Oh my, hot. It's hot. It is hot. Kind of cloudy and overcast a little bit, but it's still humid. How long is it going to stay cloudy? I like it. I like it. All right, let's see if we get another. I believe the bigger ones might be shallower. 
Normally that ain't the case. Normally the deeper. I see a boat out there where I caught them all yesterday. I like to fish that place in the middle of the day. There's a boat sitting on it. That ain't good. I don't know if they catfishing fishing or perch fishing. Uh-oh. We gotta do something. Got off of them. I ain't got too deep. Pull back up. Let's pull back up. What you say? We got too deep. That current keeps pulling me off the edge. Yeah, that boat's up down on the other hole, for sure. Right on it. That's a good place. There was a big perch in there yesterday. Big perch. I stopped up there a while ago on the way here, and it wasn't there yet. I caught a few. But that's always been from 10 o'clock to about 12 o'clock day place. Always, for some reason. I think what it is, when they pull that water, it's more of a current up there. And it's just a good, good feeding ground. Same way with this, but that's a little bit closer to the where to pull the water from. Got probably more current. So it generates more shad to be eat on. They setting the, let's say catfishing. Could be catfishing. This guy right out here's catfishing. Cause I've seen him catching some baby cats. We didn't got all the fish. Shallow. Let's beat the boat. We ain't beat the boat in the last few minutes. Hi. Up to the bottom with a big broad line. Let's see if we stir something up. 28 foot. 28 foot. That, there was a bite. There was a bite. Went right up there and crushed it. I missed it. Oh, there you go. There you go. There, oh, Lord, there you go. There you go. I believe that's a catfish. I believe that's a catfish. Sure do. That's an old kitty cat. Sure the world. Old kitty cat. And a perch. And a perch. <sighs> two perch. Real time. Kitty cat and two perch. What? Jumbo magnum, huh? I knew I had a catfish, I could tell the way it was wiggling. Those catfish are hard to get off these doggone hooks. There he goes. There he goes. Three at a time. Got love, three at a time. Stop back down with a big boy's lie. Boy, it's getting nice out here now. Overcast, can't beat it. Fine day. Fine day. What? Fine day. Be alive. Man, I remember years ago at 4th of July, we'd always churn up some ice cream. Homemade ice cream. What are you talking about? Some good eating? Homemade peach ice cream. 
or banana. All of it's good. It don't make no difference what flavor if it's homemade. If it's homemade, it don't make no difference what flavor. Hey, day. All right, down the bottom. Let's rid it up. They bumping it. They hit it again. They way up high today. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Oh, my. They want another. Oh, my. What? Oh, they didn't get but two. Uh oh, one fell off. Didn't have but two, and one of them, one of them fell off. Got this one, though. Hey, we got one. It's a nice one, too. Nice All right, let's go back down and get us nothing. What you say? Thanks to my lovely wife for doing all she does for me, putting these videos up. She come in with a migraine yesterday, and uh, that's why we didn't get my part one up. Plus, she had to fix that apron, get all the stuff out. She packs up all this stuff, puts all the paperwork in them things, in the boxes. So, hey, thanks to Miss Deborah for doing all she does for the old fisherman. Oh, Lord, you see that? He took it, didn't he? Look down, look at that rod. It's bent down. I mean, it's bent down. It's bent down. See? What? Oh, my. It's bent to the ground, to the water. I don't reckon it's bent to the ground. Look at him, three at a time. Oh my, we doing it, ain't we? We doing it, been doing it all week. I can tell you that right now. Somebody said I ought to go uh, striper fishing. My goodness, mm, boy, them things will cut you. It's hard to go striper fishing. I ain't lying. I love catching stripers, but the problem is the five and gone. I can come over here and have me a large time with these perfect. A super magnum time. You got to love a super magnum time. My goodness. Them nice perch, people. There ain't no shortage. I can tell you that. We ain't catching them out. That's for sure. That's obvious. People worried about me catching them out? Ain't happening. Them jokers, one fish produces hundreds of little ones. Look how many thousands out there producing hundreds of little ones. And then you got a mile up there toward the plants you can't even fish, so it'll never be fished out. Never, not with perch. Might be fished out or, or fish eating the crap is out, but it ain't gonna be fished out with white perch. I'll tell you that right now. Ain't no way. I hate to know how the count of how many is in this lake. Zillions. They ain't even a number. They ain't a number that high. Off the charts. What it is. Off the charts. You see how many I'm catching. They off the charts. That's why there ain't no limit on them. Uh-oh. Because they realize they eating everything. They eating all the eggs. That's what they're doing. Eating the eggs. Jokers are eating my jigs too. I'll tell you that. They eating up my jigs. I'm using white, yellow, black, yellow, blue, and yellow. It a uh, blue and green. It don't make no difference what color you use, to be honest with you. I think they hit them all. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a dag on a if I can find one. I'm gonna put a yellow and a caterpillar color on. See if they're taking it still. I like to change around just to see. I don't think it makes no difference. Right now. When they bite, it don't make no difference what color you got on. I don't think. I think they hit any color there is. What I think. Any color there is, they'll eat. The old fisherman is loving life. I'm gonna let y'all go in a few minutes. I'm getting tired. I tell you, boy, I had a lot of fish clean yesterday. I got the freezer full, so we'll get rid of some more. Some of the family. Friends. They bumping it. Yeah, the joke is bumping. It's steady bumping. Don't it? It's so little I can't even, I don't even know he's there. He 
little that's a little one, huh? That is a little one, huh? That is a little one. That is a baby. He hit the biggest jig on that too. Huh? He hit the biggest jig on it. Alright, I'll back down. I think the perch bite better this year than it were last year in the summer. That's what I think. They on fire. No question. Look at that. You throw it out, they weren't gonna bite it. They all over the place. Uh-oh, here come a boat. That ain't good. Here come a boat coming right to me. I'm gonna have to let y'all go. Let y'all go. It's gonna come right over me. I'm gonna let y'all go. They're pulling right on top of me.